What's going on guys? Welcome back to another sneaker review on Sneaker Talk 365 and today we have a review of one of my favorite Nike silhouettes out there, the Nike Air Max Plus. When it comes to lifestyle retro, like running shoes from Nike, a lot of people automatically think of sneakers like the Nike Air Max 90, the Nike Air Max 95, maybe the 97. However, in North America, I feel like the Nike Air Max Plus is a heavily underrated sneaker. When it comes to this shoe in Europe, Europeans love these. They're also called the Air Max TNs because they have the tuned air and there's the TN branding on the back right there, but they're typically called the Air Max Plus and that's the actual name it has here on the box. So this is a colorway that released last summer and it had quickly sold out and it doesn't actually have much resale value. This is not a colorway I typically see people reselling. When it comes to the Air Max Plus, the colorways that do end up having some resale value after the years have gone by ended up being like the OG colorways, like the sunset ones, the red orange gradient. There was also the blue ones as well. And those sneakers actually ended up going on sale in several places in North America. But the European sneakerheads absolutely love the Air Max Plus. There's almost like a cult-like following, which is really, really cool. If you like the shoe and you're from Europe, or if you're watching the shoe from Europe, let me know if, if I'm right. Do Europeans really love this sneaker? In North America, typically these do not sell out. These often actually end up on sale. This was a Nike Canada exclusive colorway on the website. So if you're trying to find this particular colorway of the shoe, it's gonna be a little harder to do, but I'll leave links to StockX and eBay in the description down below, along with other places like Foot Locker and Channel to show you guys what current colorways are available for retail or below retail. Now I'll have the exact code for this shoe on screen right now, CW2646100. And if you search that particular code, they'll bring up this colorway. With that said, uh, this shoe has a bit of history as well. This shoe was actually made in 1998. And these shoes were actually designed by industry veteran Sean McDowell, who has done a lot of other Nike sneakers in the past. The big thing that this shoe really brought uh, spotlight on was the really cool gradient print that's on the OG colorways like the orange pair and blue pair. That's what really set the sneaker apart from the others. However, this shoe mainly features a white upper which is great for daily wear and especially in the summer months and it's going to be a sneaker that's a lot more versatile compared to one that has a completely like colorful upper. So if you're trying to hunt down this particular colorway of the Air Max Plus, best of luck. Uh, but just for reference, these did release back at the end of June. I have June 29th on my receipt and the retail price was 230 Canadian dollars, which is the typical price point for a lot of Air Max Pluses. With that said, let's take a closer look at the shoe. First off, the very first thing you're gonna notice about this is the all white mesh upper, which kind of has this like tiger stripe pattern going down the side of the sneaker with these silver metallic accents. And it looks really cool. It looks really aerodynamic and fierce, very aggressive looking out of an Air Max shoe, which typically Air Max shoes look cozy for the most part. This is like a, an Air Max shoe that looks like you're gonna run a race in. Um, with that said, there's also some really nice detailing when it comes to this sort of green iridescent uh, material going on top of the midsole. Like this is such a unique, cool kind of material they added on the shoe. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. And that's one of the main things that drew me to this shoe. Taking a look at the front of the toe box area, you have these small little hits of these like rectangular lines on the toe box right here. And these are actually 3M reflective accents. So when the light hits them at nighttime or if a car flashes its light on them, they do pop and it looks really, really cool, majestic. There's also a mud guard as well right at the toe box. This is like a silver gray mud guard which does add more durability to the sneaker because this is typically the area where uh, after a year plus of wear the shoe kind of deteriorates and tears. So you will be having some extra coverage over there. Taking a look down the center of the shoe, you have these not rope laces, they're like an athletic style or lace because this is an Air Max shoe which is more performance driven than uh, Air Max 90. These actually have 3M reflective line details on the laces and that reflective material or that reflective accents we've seen at the front of the toe box right here with the rectangles is also going down the center of the shoe. So it's not just like a boring white sneaker with a little pop of iridescent. The fact that it has these 3M or reflective accents on the shoe definitely are a big selling point and feature of the shoe. Taking a look at the tongue, we have the Air branding with the Nike swoosh at the very top with that uh, reflective silver gray color as well. And then taking a look at the midsole, the midsole is chunky. These shoes definitely give you an 
extra inch. So if you're 5'11 and wanna say you're six feet, you can do that with this shoe. Look at that midsole. That midsole is chunky and it has sort of a little area right here where it's like a little bump. So uh, you guys can see that. You don't feel it though when it's on feet and you definitely feel a little taller when you wear these. So for my short kings out there, Air Max Plus, definitely a sneaker you might want to check out. Taking a look at the back of the shoe, you have this 3M reflective silver material as well as that TN Air branding. And this is again why the Air Max is called the Air Max, or why this Air Max Plus is called the Tuned Air or Air Max TN because it has that TN branding right there on the back. And of course, when it comes to the midsole, I showed you guys it a second ago, but these do have a uh, air unit on the back portion and on the front portion. It's a pretty well balanced sneaker and they are actually really, really comfortable. Throwing these on feet, these look actually really dope, probably even better on feet. When it does come to the tongue, one annoying thing is uh, this little tongue here doesn't lock in place very well. So sometimes it'll like eventually curve over to the side and it is a little bit annoying. So you do have to fix the tongue here and there, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. In terms of sizing, I would recommend going your true size. I'm typically a size 10 in my Nike sneakers, grabbed a size 10 in this pair of the Air Max Plus and they fit perfectly. Now, if you do want to run in these or maybe use them for more, a lot more athletic purposes, maybe going half a size up isn't as bad because the uh, the mesh material here isn't super flexible. This is a really stable sneaker. It doesn't use like fly knit or anything like that. So uh, the mesh here isn't super, super flexible. With that said, if you were looking for a really secure, uh, comfortable, like a daily driver Air Max sneaker by Nike, the Air Max Plus is definitely one of my top recommendations out there. I actually prefer these more than sneakers like the Air Max 90 and Air Max 95 and Air Max 97. I just like the more athletic look that these give. I gotta say though, the Air Max 90 is more comfortable than these, but this is just a really, really well-built shoe. And you also have to break these in just a little bit. The midsole does feel stiff, but over time, once you break them in, it's gonna be a more balancier kind of ride. And again, when you wear these on feet, you will feel a little taller, which is really, really nice. Again, I'll leave links to these sneakers in the description down below. So check them out if you guys want to see what other colorways might be available. And if you made it to the end, comment down below what you guys think about the Nike Air Max Plus. Is this a sneaker you have in your collection already? Do you wear them regularly? And if you're from Europe, uh, tell me how many Air Max Pluses you have in your collection. And if you're not from Europe, you can, you can tell me too. I won't, I won't be angry, but I'm curious for my Europeans out there who might have potentially a large collection of the shoe. Oh yeah, and fun fact, they actually brought these shoes back in 2018, like they retro them again, because it was the shoe's 20th anniversary. I should have probably mentioned that earlier when it comes to the shoe, but yeah, back in 2018, they flooded the market with a ton of different colorways of this shoe. So if you like the shoe, but you wanna see the other colorways available, check out the links down below. There's a lot of really great iconic colorways. With that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.